Hey, what's good, y'all? It's your boy, Micah J, and I'm back again with another motherfucking video. And today, I'll be addressing why you should respect Lil' Kim. So without further ado, let's get started. Lil' Kim, not a whore, but I sex a nigga so good, he gotta tell his boys when it come to sex, don't test my skills, cause my head... Now, Lil' Kim is definitely one of the most important figures in female hip-hop, and she is, if not probably, the most influential female rapper to ever pick up the microphone next to MC Light. But nowadays, it just seems like people don't give her the proper respect nor credit she so richly deserves, because I feel like ever since her beef with Nicki Minaj, people just love to ride on the Lil' Kim hate train. And since then, every single interview, and I literally mean every single interview she's been on, people are always, always bringing up Nicki Minaj. We got an overflow of Nicki Minaj questions for you. What did you think of the Grammy performance? All this stuff. How do you feel about her song, Stupid Ho? I'm pretty sure I feel the same way everybody else feels right about now. All right. You know, right. if you have to make a song called Stupid Ho, you must be a stupid ho. <laughs> do you feel some type of about Nicki dropping an album no, no, called no, Queen? No, 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 oh, God. He's a real Why isn't fan. this about Kim? Oh, it's not... I'm, well, I'm just asking. Yeah, because see, you know what? Maybe, if we're going to mention one female, we need to mention them all. Okay. We need to mention everybody. We need to bring everybody in. God bless her. What she did, she did. But you know what? God bless her. I wish her the best. I'm past that. I'm over it. I Hopefully, everyone will stop asking me because y'all don't do that to her. <laughs> And I gotta say, after all those years, I felt so remorseful for Kim because when people were trying to make it look like she was bitter, all she was trying to do was defend her legacy while Nicki Minaj and Young Money were trying to tarnish it. And I know, I know, a lot of people always love pushing this false narrative about Lil' Kim supposedly going at Nicki Minaj first just because she was supposedly jealous and bitter. That's because y'all are too gullible and mind-numbing to believe what the media tells you. Because what people did not know is that behind the scenes, while Nicki Minaj was supposedly paying homage to Kim, she started attacking her on multiple songs. I'll just let you see for yourself. Now I know I've said this a million times, but I'll say this again. Any of y'all who doubted little Kim or did not believe her at all, then y'all better apologize to her because she proved to be right about Nicki Minaj all along. But y'all never listened. So with that is the main reason why I decided to make this whole video. I mean, seriously, the amount of disrespect that people give her nowadays in this generation is so overwhelming. They always like bashing her by saying some shit like, Oh, Kim is just washed up. She doesn't even write any of her songs. Her career died after Biggie's death. Hmm, so you're really telling me that right after Biggie's death, her career went downhill after she had two of her albums, The Notorious Kim and La Bella Mafia, going platinum and also making dozens of hit songs for years to come. From Ladies Night, which featured her and a bunch of other female rappers from DeBrat, Missy Elliott, Angie Martinez, and the late great Left Eye. And the song happened to be a top 10 hit when it peaked at number 6 on the Billboard Hot 100 and going platinum. To her biggest hit single to date, Lady Marmalade, which featured other female artists from Pink, Maya, and Christina Aguilera, which was a number one hit, by the way, and stayed there for five consecutive weeks. It even earned her a Grammy off of it back in 2002 as well as having other hit songs from La Bella Mafia to The Jump Off and Magic Stick, which featured 50 Cent, and the song was the number two hit on the Billboard Hot 100 and achieving platinum status. So to anybody who actually believes that false narrative about Kim's career supposedly dying after Biggie's death is either one, fucked in the head, or two, just another delusional Nicki fan because only Nicki stands will actually believe stupid narratives like that. Plus, even at the age of 45, this woman can still rap her ass off. And while sure, yeah, she's way past her prime, and while her style has changed compared to her days in Junior Mafia, but hey, she can still spit. And I always hear a lot of false claims about Biggie writing her songs all the time. Like, come on now. Although I'm pretty sure is that either Biggie might have helped co-wrote a few songs on hardcore or Biggie might have helped her how to properly write music in the right way. So I feel like people just love taking it the wrong way and just saying like, oh, Biggie writes all of her rhymes. She doesn't write at all. Like, I feel like it's really the barbs who like pushing that false narrative because, you know, the barbs will find any way to discredit Lil' Kim, which should come as no surprise to me because, you know, the barbs are just cancerous as shit. And I always notice how a lot of people always like to poke fun at her looks because of the, like the cosmetic surgeries done on her face because, you know, people these days always like 
like judging a book by its cover instead of reading the book itself. And what I mean by that is that people always like to poke fun at her looks instead of not knowing the backstory of it because what people didn't know, her initial surgeries were repair damages done from domestic abuse. She once dated a man named Damien Hardy who was so abusive to her he ended up breaking her nose, leaving bruises on her face and blood clots as well. So if you're making fun of a person who is a victim of domestic abuse, you should honestly be ashamed of yourself because domestic abuse is something you should never laugh at at all. That is not funny at all because it's a very serious topic especially in today's society because there's probably a lot of women who deal with that and that's never good and that's something you should never joke about even though yeah i feel like kim kind of went too overboard with it but still domestic abuse is not funny at all you see way before there was Nicki minaj cardi b or even beyonce there was only one queen b and one queen b only and that was lil kim ever since the release of her debut album hardcore was released in 1996 which has been praised as a female hip-hop bible she would change the landscape of female hip-hop forever along with fellow female rapper foxy brown how you ask because if i'm being honest foxy and kim were like two of hip-hop's first femme fatales because of how they brought like a more sexual appeal to their music but with kim her style was like more raunchy and hardcore especially the way how she was so unapologetic with her explicit lyricism Plus, the way how Kim combined hip-hop, sexiness, and fashion all into one was something that had never been done or even seen before, and from there, she forever influenced and changed the entire culture, which led to people dubbing her as the Madonna of rap. Even female celebrities from Beyonce, Rihanna, and Kim Kardashian have all paid tribute to Kim as they followed her trend. Pretty much my whole point in this video, y'all motherfuckers may not love Kim and you might as well not even like her, but all I just ask for you is just to put some respect on her name because whether you love her or you hate it, Lil' Kim was definitely a huge game changer for female rap and she definitely undoubtedly paved the way for most of these current female MCs you see today from Nicki, Cardi, Megan, Steflon Dunn and so many more because without Lil' Kim most of them probably wouldn't even exist today and if it wasn't for her female hip hop wouldn't be what it is today as well but bottom line respect Lil' Kim. And I think that pretty much wraps up this whole video. So anyways, what are you guys' thoughts? Do you think Lil' Kim gets the proper respect and credit she deserves? If not, let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to give this a big thumbs up or a thumbs down if you like it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for weekly videos. I'm your boy, Michael J. And peace.